I've got the Poco F2 Pro right here, also known as the Xiaomi Redmi K30 Pro. And today I'm going to show you how to install the CR Droid custom ROM. This is thanks in part to the XDA developer Ray Steph 66, as well as all of the other folks that have put in time and effort creating the CR Droid custom ROM. Now before we begin, you're going to need to have some things set up ahead of time. This includes unlocking the bootloader of the Poco F2 Pro. Now if you have not done this already, I'm going to have a link in the video description that will take you to a tutorial that walks you through this step by step since I have already done that tutorial in the past. We're also going to need to have TWRP installed and I'll be linking to the recommended build of TWRP again in the video description. This has been posted by the maintainer and developer of the port of this ROM which I'll also be including in the video description as well the XDA form thread for this ROM since you'll find the download links for the latest build of CR Droid for this device. Now, as of right now, in order to install CR Droid on this smartphone, the Poco F2 Pro, we need to be on version 12.2.6 of MIUI. So if you are not on this version yet, you're going to need to manually flash that either with the batch file or with the me flash program. However, do make note that as time progresses, CR Droid will get updates to the custom ROM and the required version of MIUI may change. For instance, when MIUI 12.5 gets released for this device, I'm sure CR Droid will be pushing out a new update that will require you to be on MIUI 12.5 in order to flash that version. Now this is only required on your first transition from MIUI to CR Droid. Because once you have CR Droid installed, you can just install the next update right on top of the previous update. So I've now booted the phone into recovery mode, which as of right now has TWRP installed. Again, I've linked to this specific build of TWRP in the video description. If you do not have TWRP, or a custom ROM install or a custom recovery installed right now, then you're going to need to do that and then boot into recovery mode. Again, I've shown you how to install a custom recovery in a video, a previous video that I'll be linking in the video description. So there's no need to cover that in this specific guide. Since this is the first time installing CR Droid on our Poco F2 Pro, meaning since we're coming from MIUI to CR Droid, we need to do a format data. We can do that by tapping the wipe option and then selecting the format data button. And just as it instructs, we're just going to type out YES, press the blue check mark button to confirm. And that's going to format the data partition so that we can properly install CR Droid. So once that's done, press the home button to go back to the main menu. And now we're going to be flashing CR Droid. If you haven't done so already, download the zip file from the XDA thread. You can also download a build of OpenG apps while you're at it. That is a Google package, a Google Apps package. For those who want Google Play, the, the Google Play Store and Google Play services installed, 
This is usually recommended for most people. And you might also want to go ahead and download the latest version of Majisk. They recommend minimum version 21.4, but I'll just be flashing the latest version that we have available. And we can do that by using two different methods. We could either use an OTG cable connected to a flash drive that will allow us to install and flash the uh, zip file, but I'm going to be using the side load method. So I have a USB cable connected to my PC and I'm going to be opening up a command prompt, Windows PowerShell, or a terminal within the same folder as the CR Droid zip file that we downloaded from XDA. So if you're using an OTG cable, you can simply tap on install, change your storage, and flash the zip files that way. Again, I'm going to be using the ADB side load method in this video, so we do that by tapping the advanced button down there and then selecting ADB side load. We don't need to select either of these. We're just going to swipe to begin the ADB side load feature. And now we're going to turn our attention to the PC with our PowerShell open up in the same folder that our custom ROM zip file is in, our Majisk zip file, and our OpenGApps zip file. So again, we're going to need to have the zip file for the custom ROM, our version of Majisk, and our download of OpenGApps compatible with version Android 11 in the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools are installed. And with that, you can open up a, sh a terminal or a command prompt or a PowerShell in that same folder because we need to issue the, the ADB sideload command. So the command we're going to type out is ADB space sideload space and then just start typing out the name of the file. So in this instance for the CR droid zip file instead of having to type out all of that I can just type out CR and press tab and Windows PowerShell will auto complete and I'm pretty sure this works for most terminal programs as well as most command prompts too but if you want you can simply rename this file to something easy like CR droid dot zip and then just type out adb space sideload space crdroid.zip. So while our Poco F2 Pro is in adb sideload mode, we're going to press enter on the keyboard. That's going to first send this zip file to our phone and then it's going to execute the script for that zip file. This is the script that's being executed on the Poco F2 Pro right now that's installing the CR Droid custom ROM. And we still have a progress. We're at 14% on the ADB sideload command, 16%. And we're just waiting patiently for our PC to at first send this zip file to the Poco F2 Pro and then patch the required files. We're going to be doing this for the custom ROM zip. And then we're going to be doing it for our OpenG apps package. We'll be flashing Majisk afterwards. We just want to flash the custom ROM zip 
and the OpenG apps package first. Right, 33% on the ADB sideload command. And again, we're just waiting patiently for the script to work. No need to touch the phone, no need to mess with the USB cable. Once everything finishes, you can see we get a script succeeded result with two buttons that appear at the bottom. We can either go back or we can reboot system. We're just going to tap the back button to go back to our advanced screen because again, we need to do another ADB sideload command. We need to go back into ADB sideload mode, swipe those arrows. If you notice the phone reboot like that, no big deal, I had that last time. Just go back into ADB sideload and start the sideload feature. So again, with our Poco F2 Pro in sideload mode, we type out ADB space sideload space. And again, this time we're going to be flashing the open GFs package. So we can just start typing out the name open and then press tab to autocomplete. Make sure the file name is correct and then press enter on the keyboard. And the same thing is gonna happen. It's going to send that zip file and then it's going to flash those required files. You can see I have installed the Pico version of OpenG apps. There are two other builds, Nano and one more, I believe. I just went for the smallest one as that looked to be the most popular. And I don't mind installing other apps from the Google Play Store. So once we have finished installing OpenG apps, again, we should get an installation complete message right here. And once that's done, we should be good to go. We can press either the reboot system button from here, or we can tap the home button, tap on reboot, and then reboot into the system. Now I'm used to installing Magisk after OpenG apps, but the original post for CR Droid is instructing you to reboot into the system after you have flashed the CR Droid ROM and the OpenG apps. So I'm going to be doing that. We're going to boot into Android. We're going to go through the setup page and then we're going to boot back into TWRP and flash Magisk the same way we flash those other two files. We're just going to go into ADB sideload mode and flash those two files. So we're here, we have finally booted into CR Droid. We have access to all of the custom and extra features that come with it. I've heard a lot of good things about this ROM. It's very popular in the 
Poco F2 Pro uh, form right now over on XDA. I'm usually a little hesitant on custom ROMs that pack in so many features like this as it tends to be very hard to optimize and squash all of the bugs that are involved. However, I'm willing to give it a try since it comes with so many features and things like a passing safety net out of the box. Um, from what I'm reading, you just need to enable Midgisk Hide and then you reboot and you're done. But there we have it. That is how to install the CR Droid Custom ROM on the, on the Poco F2 Pro, which again is also known as the Xiaomi Redmi K30 Pro.